Russell, it's Candyman, I'm back. And I got a little different video today, it's just a small uh, little job I'm painting. And uh, it's this little molding off the back of a uh, Mitsubishi. So at the moment it's the only thing I got. So I thought this is a good time to uh, show you one of my small guns that I use. And it's not the new DV1 small one, it's just the old uh, SRI Pro with a 1.0 in it. But this is a heck of a gun. And uh, I used to love using this gun for sealer because it lays just a beautiful flat coat down being it's got that 1.0 in it. And it does the same for clear. So, you know, like I said, it's the older model. Um, it's a heck of a gun. And um, I'm gonna spray clear with it today on this molding being it's a small job and show you how it works. So I like this gun. If you guys have a couple small parts or you know, you're just doing like handles or moldings and you got a, maybe a couple motorcycle parts. Some of you guys that do that stuff or uh, stuff at home and you're not really doing big stuff. This here is a beautiful gun. And for a 1.0 in it, it comes with another air cap and everything, but I like this gun a lot. So I'm gonna spray this with clear and show you guys how it works. For so some of you guys doing little small jobs at the house, maybe you wanna get a little small gun, something that doesn't blow over spray everywhere and lays a nice, uh, flat coat, this is definitely the one. And like I said, they have uh, the newer upgraded now, the DV1, they make the small spot repair gun too. So I'm gonna show you this one and uh, stay tuned. So guys, we're gonna use the CC200 with the UH90 and the US4, guys. I like that combination and what I'm using this clears. To me, it's had the best results with that, that combo. Uh, it just has a nice sheen and it dries dries hard, it doesn't set up too quick, but it sets up in enough time that I can buff it right out of the booth. So I like the way it flows out with that 90 and that US4. So we're gonna use that on it. And uh, let me mix that up. But yeah, that CC200 is good clear. And what's nice about this gun with that 1.0 in it is it really, puts down a nice flat coat because it's breaking it up so small. And that's what's nice about them small mini guns. Um, you know, I like them. I don't really do that much small stuff. You know what I mean? I'm doing a lot of um, cars and stuff like that. So I'm not doing small parts, but it's definitely a nice gun. Even if you're doing bigger jobs, sometimes you gotta, you know, keep something small. And it's definitely a good gun for that but you can't imagine how nice of a coat it'll lay out with that 1.0 um, in it. So I'll show you how it works. And uh, let me mix this clear up and we'll put it on that car. So I'm gonna spray this one with the actual booth on and uh, you hearing the gun. So hopefully you guys can hear it, hear what I'm saying as I'm spraying it, but check it out. So I wanted to show you guys the difference between the Iwata mini gun and the Devilbus. So I have the mini gun of the Iwata, the LPH80, and then I have this, I have two of these, but I like this gun better because it's bigger. See how small this is? It's, it feels too little. This is very small. The trigger on this gun, it's real thin and small, and it just seems very, um, like small to me, I don't really care for that one. But this one here, it's got almost a big body to it, but it has the um, the 1.0 in it. So it's not real like a small feeling gun. It actually feels really good. So I'm really happy with the DeVilbus version of the uh, spot repair guns. I have that one, I don't even use it. But as far as I'm concerned, I like the way the DeVilbus has them a little bigger and it fits in your hand better, but it still gives you that small that small uh, fluid tip and everything. So watch how this stuff, uh, it lays it out. That piece is all based out right now. And uh, we're gonna 
put some clear on it guys so stay tuned So yeah guys, that was that uh, DeVilbis SRI with a 1.0 in it. And it sprays nice and uh, you know, I don't use it much, but it works very well for sealers and clears if you're doing smaller parts and smaller jobs. You can even use it for base if you want, but I like it for sealer and clear if I'm doing a small part or if I'm gonna blend something in, maybe do a spot in or doing some small parts, it works very good. Um, but you know, depending on the, on the clear you guys are using, you might want to three coat the part because it puts down less material than a normal gun. So sometimes if I want, I'll go ahead and depending on the clear that I'm using, the solids, I'll put three coats of clear instead of the two normal that I always use. So I just thought I'd show you that gun. I have it and uh, I haven't done any videos on it. It's a good gun if you guys are doing small parts or uh, some of you guys that are doing, you know, spot repairs, doing some blend ins or stuff like that. I don't really do too many, you know, spot jobs. So. I don't use it very often, but sometimes you need that gun, you need a small uh, atomization and a small droplet. You know, grab the 1.0. It's definitely to have, good to have one of those in your arsenal with your gun. So when you need it, it's definitely good to have, and uh, I recommend that gun, you know. So check out that gun and check out maybe the new DV1 version of it. I'm gonna check him out too soon when I uh, get my hands on him to try it out. So I'll, I'll do a video on that soon next, so. Thanks for watching the video guys, subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell.